Harsh Ice Age winters blanketed Europe in snow and ice, creating a challenging environment that Neanderthals were uniquely adapted to survive. Neanderthals had evolved distinct physical characteristics suited for the colder European climate. Their stocky builds and shorter limbs were evolutionary responses to reduce heat loss and maintain body warmth in glacial conditions. They developed a robust musculature that helped insulate their bodies against the biting Ice Age cold, enabling them to perform rigorous hunting activities. The Neanderthals' nasal passages were larger than those of modern humans, an adaptation likely developed to warm and humidify the cold, dry air they breathed. With deep-set eyes and pronounced brow ridges, they were protected from the harsh glare of sunlight, reflecting off icy landscapes which could be blinding. Despite the frigid temperatures, Neanderthals harnessed the use of fire, which became a cornerstone of their daily life and survival. Fireplaces found at their sites indicate a sophisticated understanding of fire management, including the ability to kindle and maintain flames over extended periods. They likely wore clothing made from animal hides, which provided essential insulation and were a key adaptation to Ice Age environments. Archaeological evidence points to the use of tools by them to process these hides into wearable garments, showcasing their adaptability and ingenuity. They hunted large Ice Age mammals such as mammoths using advanced weapons and coordinated tactics, demonstrating complex social cooperation and hunting strategies. The Neanderthals' diet was rich in protein from the meat of large prey, which supplied the high-energy intake necessary to survive in such extreme cold. In addition to hunting, there is evidence to suggest they also foraged for plant materials, broadening their food sources and nutritional intake. Their communities were structured to support one another, sharing resources and knowledge which was vital for their survival in Ice Age Europe. The social structures of their groups likely involved the sharing of tasks such as child rearing, food preparation and tool making, reinforcing bonds and ensuring group survival. Neanderthals used caves as natural shelters which offered protection from the elements and predators as well as a stable living environment. In open areas, they constructed temporary structures from bones and skins, showcasing their ability to create shelter in the absence of natural formations. These shelters were strategically placed to maximize exposure to sunlight and minimize the impact of cold winds, exemplifying their understanding of the environment. The Neanderthals' ability to adapt to changing climates and landscapes was a testament to their resilience and flexibility as a species. They practiced a mobile lifestyle, moving across territories to follow migrating herds and access different resources as seasons changed. Their toolkits were sophisticated and varied, including stone blades and points, which were essential for butchering animals and working hides. The creation of stone tools by them involved a complex sequence of planning and execution, indicating high levels of cognitive function and manual dexterity. Their tools were not only functional, but also displayed signs of aesthetic consideration, suggesting a cultural aspect to their craftsmanship. Neanderthals may have used pigments and natural materials to create body art or decorate their tools, which points to a capacity for symbolic thought. Evidence of care for the injured and elderly within their groups indicates a compassionate social system that valued all members. Burial sites of Neanderthals suggest rituals and a belief system indicating a complex inner life and respect for the dead. The presence of musical instruments such as flutes carved from animal bones implies that they had an appreciation for music and leisure activities. Their sites often contain a diversity of tools and artifacts, suggesting they had designated areas for different activities such as cooking, tool-making, and resting. There is evidence of trade or exchange networks among their groups, which allowed them to acquire resources not found locally. The strategic placement of their settlements near resources like fresh water and flint deposits shows an advanced understanding of resource management. Neanderthal stone tools were not only functional, but were also designed to be portable, reflecting a nomadic lifestyle adapted to the Ice Age environment. They likely had a complex language or means of communication, which would have been essential for coordinating hunts and sharing knowledge. The physical robustness of Neanderthals allowed them to withstand not just the cold, but also to engage in close-range hunting tactics with dangerous prey. They showed an understanding of medicinal plants, 
as evidenced by dental plaque analyses, indicating their use of natural remedies for ailments. The Neanderthal's adaptability was ultimately tested as the climate fluctuated, pushing them to continually innovate and adjust their survival strategies. Their legacy lies in their contribution to the human gene pool, as modern humans carry their DNA, a remnant of our shared history. The eventual disappearance of Neanderthals remains a subject of research with theories ranging from climate change to competition with modern humans, but their ability to endure the Ice Age for thousands of years speaks to their resilience and resourcefulness. They were formidable hunters, often taking down prey such as woolly mammoths, which required significant cooperation and strategic planning. The hunting tactics of Neanderthals involved stealth, knowledge of animal behavior, and the terrain as well as the use of sophisticated weapons like spears. What they hunted was crucial, as the large Ice Age animals provided not only meat, but also fur, bones, and sinew for various uses. Their diet was supplemented by smaller game and marine resources, where available, indicating a flexible approach to their subsistence. In times when large prey was scarce, Neanderthals were capable of exploiting a variety of food sources, including birds, fish, and even plant matter. They processed the animals they hunted in a way that maximized the yield from each kill, using everything from the bones to the organs. Their hunting skills were not innate. They were learned and passed down through generations, evidencing a rich cultural heritage. Their ability to work as a group during hunts is seen as a precursor to the complex social structures of later human societies. The butchering sites left by Neanderthals show a systematic approach to meat processing and an understanding of the anatomy of their prey. Their close-range hunting techniques would have demanded a detailed knowledge of their prey's behavior and the environment in which they were hunting. The consumption of meat rich in fat was vital for Neanderthals, providing the necessary calories to survive the cold and fuel their large brains. There is also evidence that they engaged in fishing, which would have required a different set of skills and tools, further showcasing their adaptability. They often chose to reside near rivers and coastal areas, which provided not only drinking water, but also additional food sources like fish and shellfish. The way they shared their food and resources is indicative of complex social interactions and the importance of group solidarity. Their success as apex predators in the Ice Age ecosystem was due in part to their physical strength and sophisticated hunting tools. They had to be opportunistic eaters, ready to adjust their diet based on the availability of different food sources throughout the seasons. The endurance of Neanderthals in Ice Age Europe was not solely due to their physical adaptations, but also their remarkable behavioral flexibility and innovation. We will keep you updated on any new findings. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Till we meet again, take care.